Hey everybody, it's Tia at B5 Designs. Welcome to my channel. I am coming at you live from my living room today. Well, by the time it's posted, it's not live, but you know what I mean. Um, I went out and about today. I live in a tri-state area, so I am in Iowa, and then I have Nebraska within, I'm gonna say 10 minutes of me, and then South Dakota in like, um, I don't know, 20 minutes of me. So, I decided to go over to South Sioux City, which is in Nebraska, because they have a Dollar Tree over there, and I don't go over there very often. And so I'm gonna show you what I picked up from there. Um, I got, well, I got this blue pinwheel, and then I got the red, and that I'm gonna go put on my dad's grave. And Mother's Day um, this year falls on my mom's birthday, so I picked up this pinwheel. Purple was her favorite color, so I'm going to do some purple flowers with it. Um, so we're going to go do that tomorrow. And she loved birds, and I found this was the only hummingbird one they had. And I haven't seen this one before, and the guy at the crash register was like, where'd you get this? And I was like, it was just randomly on a shelf. And I said, I couldn't find any more because I would have got more. But so there is that. And then I went ahead and picked up two more of these garden solar stake, solar stake lights. And in my other video, um, I showed how these um, do the color changing. I knew I should get five. I usually get five of everything when I buy, but I didn't for that for whatever reason. Oh, I also, I really like these sanding sponges for when I am like sanding the edges of, you know, paper projects or whatever. For instance, like this journal that I'm making, I cut the one piece of paper and I cut it kind of weird. And for whatever reason, it had, it did this little shred thing on my paper cutter. Cut it unevenly I guess is would, would be a good word so that's something that I would probably sand out and these work good um, nail files work good too but I just happen to prefer these and I also have like a close to my heart sanding thing and different things like that I just like those and my husband uses them too and then I picked up the the two of these and I'm going to give them to my co-worker these little sticky notes I'm a sticky note fanatic at work I and I happened to mention that to the one girl. She's like, yeah, I do too. Yeah, I use them a lot too. So, And then I stumbled across these. They were kind of in the section where they have like the kids, oh, like schools, school stuff, not school supplies, but like for the bolt, school bulletin boards. Um, anyway, I thought these would be cute in my uh, Bible journal. And this one says, my hope is in God all day long. And this one says, know the truth, protect the truth, recognize your identity, own your identity, believe the gospel, and preach it to yourself every day. And love is my anchor. I remember these are really, uh, a couple of these are quite small font. So I have loved you with the everlasting love. And then this one says, we have a hope. Oh, good Lord. I can't even read this. I don't know what this one says. An anchor and our soul firm with firm and secure, I think is what it says. And then faith, hope, and love. I'm not familiar with this scripture obviously and I have my contacts in and when I wear my contacts I have to wear my reading glasses and it's a whole thing so anyway I thought those were cute um I stumbled across some washi tape which I don't need but uh obviously today I'm working on my composition notebook junk journals actually I'm working on the half journal that I'm creating as um a bible journal I did a a Bible art project a few years ago and I think I'm gonna transfer um, them into this as well um, every week the person gave you a scripture and then you um, like did some type of artwork around that scripture and um, I really enjoyed doing that so I still have it and I don't I didn't do it that long 
but um, so I'd like to transfer some of that into there. Um, but anyway, I thought this would be cute. I hadn't seen that before. I don't need washi, but I always look to see if they have anything different. And of course, you know, I have a thing for rainbows. And I had to get this because it's gingham. Whatever. <laughs> it's like if I see gingham ribbon, I buy it and I have probably every color. Of course, there'll be a project that I need to do where I don't have a particular color. And then I got this. It reminds me of balloons, but then it kind of reminds me of watercolor as well so I got that I did pick up some pins for work because these are a little fatter and I want to see how they work um, and uh, I picked up these I we have pins at work I just wanted something fatter because um, I have arthritis in my hands and I thought the um, diamond dot things that I got excuse my hands um that are the thicker really I don't get as much arthritic pain um when I use those so I thought that would be nice and then this particular Dollar Tree has the foam mounting squares like this and I like this better than the stuff on the roll I always make a mess with the stuff on a roll so I picked up two and then they had they had the round I'm sorry. They had the square and the round, so I picked up two of the square. I don't know what I picked up. I guess I picked up three of the round and two of the square. I didn't realize that. And it doesn't matter because it'll get used. And these are really nice to put on the back of, like if you say you make flowers for somebody and then you want to package it pretty, so you put this on the back and then um, they have a sticky to package it with or to use on their own. I don't know what I'm saying. And then non-crafty, I picked up a pack of washcloths. So then I went to the Dollar General and this one is in a town next to me. So we're still in Iowa, but it's Sergeant Bluff, Iowa. And I needed some dryer sheets because you cut these up and put them in your diamond dots and it'll take the static out but I didn't want a ton of them and so this was just a little 12 pack so I was glad to get that and then I wanted some lotion my hands are really dry and I'm going to put one at work and one on my nightstand uh picked up some razors woohoo and then I picked up some scissors I can never find scissors at work so um I'm just going to put these in a drawer that we keep right by us so that we'll have them I picked up these. Um, the reason why I went to Dollar General in this town, this other town, is because I haven't been there for years. Plus, I wanted to see if they had anything different crafty-wise. And so I got these detail doodles, and it says fine-tipped felt markers. They're supposed to be, I think the sign said they're similar to Sharpies. They're American Crafts brand. But what I liked, and I don't know if I can get this opened because I think it's taped and I it is taped so uh, since I'm one-handed but it's the colors are different is how I felt about it like the orange looks a little bit different the pink and then um, these so I don't know how they write since I can't open it on camera since I'm doing this one-handed I can't try it out but I if I think about it I'll let you know and they did have some different stickers. I picked up this Sticko Dog sticker. I don't know why I don't have a dog like that, but I do have dogs. And I picked up this Jolie's Boutique. Obviously, it's a baby, and I thought it was a little more geared towards baby because someday, a uh, baby boy, because someday I will get some of the scrapbooking done that I uh, baby albums made. Um, this is a gone fishing because I have pictures of my boys when they were fishing and then I thought this was really cute it reminded me of well, all three of my grandchildren because let me tell you my oldest grandson when it's time to eat of course he doesn't eat baby food now because he's almost three but he is a good eater and when it's time to eat he gets right up in his little seat and he eats so good and um, his little brother who's eight months old is a good little eater and then my granddaughter I have a picture of her the um, eating too I have pictures of all of them eating so that's why I wanted that um, and then 
man, do I ever yap. Sorry, you guys. Um, I They had this random Lion King one. So I picked that up because I'm sure, you know, the kids watch a lot of Disney movies with the grandkiddos. And I'm sure Lion King will eventually be one that they like. And um, I picked up this little Love and Fun and Amore. And these are all American Crafts and Jolie's. And then this one's Disney. I don't know. EK Success Brand is that one. And then I got this. It's a girl. Thought it was cute. Do I need stickers? No. And it's an EK Success or Jolie's. I didn't know EK Success made Jolie's, by the way. And then I got this one because we are going to the zoo, to a small zoo next weekend with my son and daughter-in-law and two grandsons. So I'm excited and about that. And so again, American Crafts EK Success. Hmm. I guess I never paid attention to that. So that is it, you guys, from Dollar Tree and Dollar General. And as I said, I'm working on junk journaling this weekend and tomorrow's Mother's Day and I've already gotten some really pretty gifts. I got a bush from my hus one husband and son went together and got chopped together is what I mean and they got me this really pretty bush and then a plant and then my other son ordered a Alex and Annie bracelet for me that says mom on it and then I haven't seen the other three yet because it's Saturday so we will see what happens and I know my youngest son is celebrating Mother's Day with his wife who is the mommy to my two grandsons so I probably won't see him tomorrow but I will see him next weekend so anyway I hope everybody has a fabulous weekend and a wonderful Mother's Day and thank you for stopping by my channel bye